Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, Coach Finney, this is set to be handed his final three man boost as he prepares for the World Cup qualifiers against against South Africa this Friday. And of course, uh, if you follow the channel, you know that its players were initially stranded because they were unable to be transported from Lagos to the Uyo camp because of the ongoing strike, uh, you know, by the NLC TLC uh, collaboration. But right now, the strike uh, thankfully has now been called off for the next uh, five to five days to one week. Uh, you know, because, um, you know, they've not been able to reason with the government. So hopefully they settle it and then, you know, call off the strike permanently. But the great news right now is that, uh, you know, the likes of Okoye, Lukman, and Iwobi were spotted in Lagos. Actually, Okoye and, sorry, actually, Iwobi and uh, Lukman were the first two people that were initially spotted yesterday uh, night. And the report was that, you know, this morning they are going to, uh, body plane to Uyo camp. Of course, the aviation uh, sector has now opened, so these guys can actually body plane even without getting uh, the uh, private jet uh, for that one. And then Okoye actually showed up this morning in Lagos and he's on course to join the guys, uh, you know, in the Uyo training this morning as well. So it's a really, really uh, great massive boost for Coach Minidi and his team because he's going to now have all his available. Uh, all his 23 players now available to train with them. The game against South Africa is on Friday, and these guys coming around is definitely late. Uh, but again, it's better to arrive than not arriving at all. So we, we are going to definitely take what we can get from it. And these guys are going to join the camp, and hopefully they will meet the training for the evening today. And of course, uh, Coach Finidi, as I mentioned, has not been distracted one bit. He and his, he and his uh, uh, technical crew haven't been distracted one bit as they continue to prepare the guys. You know, initially, the 15 guys that were available, they were preparing these guys despite the fact that the, the striking situation, despite the fact that, you know, eight players were not uh, joining, they still were focused to train these guys with every tactics, every uh, strategy that they had in mind ahead of that South African game. Um, but uh, yesterday, I, you know, we talked about the fact that five players actually joined the camp uh, because. Uh, they were conveyed by a private jet, even though the strike was still uh, red hot by then. And thankfully, they traveled and they met uh, Coach Vinidi and the boys in the evening uh, session. So they immediately jumped into the training session with the guys, you know, straight off from the private jet and into the training session. And if this is going to serve as anything, it's definitely going to be a good one, good news for uh, the Nigerian team. Because now this, it's, these five players that initially joined, uh, have an idea, have an experience, you know, because they've now trained with Coach Finidi uh, once, you know, even if it's just once uh, yesterday evening, but it's definitely something that, uh, it, that's positive for the team. And hopefully these three guys, uh, the likes of Okoye, uh, Lukman and Iwobi are also going to uh, join, uh, get to Uyo, you know, before this evening and hopefully prepare uh, on time to meet the training session this evening uh, to uh, familiarize themselves with everything Coach Finidi has been teaching the team and get themselves up to speed with that one. A bit about the training session yesterday, it was pretty much the standard training session yesterday, only that it was even more active, more uh, energetic because, you know, additional five players obviously joined the group and it was even more interesting. The usual uh, routine drills, uh, shooting uh, practices and, and um, the technical side of it, uh, led by Coach Finidi, obviously, uh, took place yesterday. And Coach Finidi and his uh, technical crew will hope, hope to continue today, to carry on today, and very, very uh, hopefully with the uh, remaining three guys joining the camp to make it a complete team, you know, as they prepare for that one. And as uh, again, a South African team, I mentioned in the previous video that their plan, you know, is to actually come to Nigeria today and... Uh, start their own uh, process. Of course, they, they had already uh, begun something back uh, home in their country, but they are going to enter Nigeria and uh, show the rest of their uh, training uh, sessions ahead of the Friday game. Of course, Hugo Bruce, uh, the coach of the South African team, is upbeat about the, uh, this uh, game. He's very confident that his team is uh, up to the standard and that they are not really intimidated that they can hold their ground and in fact get a positive result from this match on Friday. And it's definitely going to be a very exciting game to watch. 
But you know, before then, um, I'm sure lots of uh, interesting updates is going to be uh, coming out from the camp, from the camp of the Super Eagles, and of course, uh, South Africa. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel, guys, as you will definitely be getting all these updates right here on this channel. It's really great feelings for the players in camp, and one man has not ceased to be joyous and happy, you know, as he looks forward to actually representing the Nigerian Super Eagles. And I'm talking of no other one than uh, Daley Bashir, England-born midfielder who plays for Paris Sports in Turkey. Of course, he was in blistering form last season for the uh, Hete uh, Sports side. I talked about that you know, in the previous video. And right now, he's obviously expressing the fact that it means you know the world to him, not only him, but also his family, to actually uh, be in contention to represent Nigerian Super Eagles in this World Cup qualifying games against South Africa and Benin. Daley Bashir you know, says that you know this opportunity actually means everything to him uh, his family his parents that it's it's it, there's this joy that he actually feels when he his mom his brother cousin uncle everybody uh you know are in the stands to watch him play for the nigerian shirt he says that this is uh, something that he's definitely going to uh it, it's a feeling that he will not forget to also express his love for nigeria as a country with over 200 million people uh, you know, as fans of the Nigerian Spigus, he, he feels that this is something really massive and uh, that he is relishing the opportunity and is grabbing it with both hands, uh, pledging to actually, you know, give his best for the team and for the country. Moving away from the camp of Nigerian Spigus in Rio, let me also let you know that there is a few updates outside of that one. And uh, right now, the Nigerian Flamingos, that's the under-17 national team of the Nigerian, uh, of the women's team, women uh, women's category, are uh, also... Uh, you know, preparing for their World Cup qualifiers games against uh, Liberia. You might recall I talked about this, you know, a few videos ago that they actually have a date with Liberia and it's going to go down this weekend, you know, 9th of June, which is uh, on, on Sunday. And these girls are already in camp, uh, slugging it out, you know, in trainings, trying to get themselves in, in the best state of mind, best uh, fitness level to actually uh, flourish on that one. And uh, in their training, they actually had a a test match, you know, for that one uh, where they played against Soccer Talent Academy and they trashed this, this you know, f uh, football academy 10 goes to zero, uh, you know, as they test their legs uh, ahead of that Liberia game. The game is going to go down this Sunday at 5 p.m. Nigerian time and it's going to be played first uh, in Liberia at the uh, Samway Kanyondo Sports Complex. And then after that game, you know, the reverse fixture is going to be taking place in Nigeria, where the girls will hopefully, you know, complete the job to qualify for the World Cup under 17 category. This is the final, uh, you know, round for them to pass through to qualify. To end this up, let me let you know that uh, Nigeria's wife is eligible defender Tosin Adarabiru has now uh, completed his medical with Chelsea Football Club and he is now uh, set to be announced by the club as the first new signing under Enzo Maresca, who's the new boss. Uh, we wish him all the best in this uh, new endeavor and hopefully, maybe if it's right, he might get a call up for Nigerian Spigos if he performs really well. That's the update, guys. Thanks for watching this. Don't forget to like and share the video, react to any of the series that you like, and uh, take care of yourselves. More will be coming out from the Nigerian Spigos as they prepare for that World Cup qualifying games against South Africa and later Benin. Take care of yourselves. Have a lovely day, guys.